what's up everybody true boxing here thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth so today we are discussing the recap from the Stephen Fulton Daniel Roman Showtime card that took place on Saturday June 4th I'm just gonna recap the before we get to the main event I'll recap the co-feature that saw undefeated secondary super middleweight champion David Morrell or David Morrell uh, as he took on um, Calvin Henderson. Now this was a this was a intriguing bout going in because Morrell has become a an option for Dave, a possible option for a couple guys for David Benavides. He holds a secondary belt. The only other guy that holds a, a, a world title at 168 is Canelo right now. He's an undisputed champ. So this could open the door to two possibly two belts for somebody for Morel, for Kayla Plant, for, you know, David Benavidez, and Benavidez has mentioned David Morel, and, and David Morel uh, mentioned David Benavidez, even going as, as so far as to say, I'm going to make him my bitch after this fight, saying that about Benavidez, that he's there, that that Benavidez says, uh, and this is out of Morel's mouth, that Benavidez always talks about how nobody wants to fight him, well, he's right there ready to fight him if they want to go, go at it next. But he, he needed to be impressive against Henderson, and he came out and just blitzed Henderson. He absolutely dominated him. I believe it was a, a fifth or sixth round stoppage, and just really put it on him, really beat him up, put it on him, impressive performance, and Morrell retained his secondary world title. I think the guy's only like six or seven and oh now, you know, So that, and, and he's got like five or six knockouts. He's only got one fight that went to a decision, so this dude is really on a roll and ready to um, ready to rock uh, going forward. And um, you know, we'll talk about his what's next because he is a top ten guy. We'll talk about his what's next next week. But big time performance out of David Morrell, and um, looking forward to seeing him back in action. Or if it's in a big fight against Benavides, that'd be great. But again, we'll discuss all that on his um, on the what's next. But the main event. It was Stephen Fulton Jr., the undefeated, unified, super bantamweight champion at 122 pounds, defending his unified belt for the first time. Officially, it was his second world title defense um, against former unified champion Daniel Roman. And Roman, you know, the, the funny thing was is Fulton went out there and did what I thought he could do, which was win the rounds, dominate the action, and he did that. But you know, the rounds were competitive. There were some close rounds there where they were competitive rounds, but Stephen Fulton just won almost all of them. That's the thing, it's like, it really reminded me of, um, and again, a little bit stylistically, a little bit different, but it really reminded me of the Mayweather versus Miguel Cotto fight. That was more of a toe-to-toe -to -toe action. Mayweather was leaning up against the ropes, but going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Cotto. But, you know, Roman was having success. He was landing good shots, but Rom but um, Stephen Fulton was just landing more and the better shots. And that was the difference between these two guys. And Stephen Fulton just, you know, didn't let his foot off the gas pedal. He just kept pushing forward and he ended up scoring a one-sided 12 round unanimous decision as he retains his unified title and pushes forward. So he called out MJ Mirajan Akhmadalayev after the fight, he called him out, uh, you know, for Undisputed, said that's what's next, um, that he wants to do next. Um, you know, of course, MJ fighting at the end of the month. Um, we'll discuss Stephen Fulton's what's next uh, next week. But Daniel Roman, tough defeat for him, 32 years old, and to go pretty much just get dominated, uh, what, you know, outpointed, I'm going to say, dominated in terms of points and really get outworked like that. Um, I don't think he should retire by any means. I, I like Danny Roman. I think Roman can definitely be successful, but, you know, and, and at least give it one last run, you know, because who has he lost to since he became a name? He's lost to the two undefeated unified guys, unified champs right now, and, um, Stephen Fulton Jr. and MJ Mirage on Akhmadalayev. So, you know, really nothing to hang his head about. And he barely lost to Akhmadalayev. So, and, and again, the rounds were competitive against Fulton. Not all of them, but some of them were very competitive. And, you know, and he just got out of work. So, you know, what I take from that is that Daniel Roman still has a future. 
Um, he's still in my top 10, so we'll discuss his what's next following this loss. And that's what I got on the Showtime recap from June 4th that was headlined by Stephen Fulton Jr. against Daniel Ramon for the Super Bantamweight, the Unified Super Bantamweight Championship at 122 pounds. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button, leave me a comment, or subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.